Now in this video, I will try to answer some of the frequently asked questions about Art Appreciation course. Let's begin. Number one, what is Art Appreciation class all about? Now my friends, I think Art App is one of the most straightforward subjects in your curriculum. Why? The title says it all. Art Appreciation. It means our primary aim is to appreciate notable pieces of art. And that's it. Number two, will you be required to produce an art form in this class? Well, my friends, as early as now, I want you to know the difference between two classes, an art class and an art appreciation class. Now, in an art class, your teachers will be teaching you how to do art. And that is why the expectation is, at the end of the course, you must be able to produce one. On the other hand, in an art appreciation class, our task mainly is to appreciate the beauty of notable pieces of art across the globe. So the answer is no. It is not a major requirement for you to come up with an art form at the end of this particular course. But please bear with me if I would sometimes ask you to create art. And I will do that not for your art to be graded or for it to be judged, but I just want you to experience the process of creating one. Why? Because my friends, I believe that once you get to know the process, once you get to experience producing art, then you will appreciate art even more. So my friends, just to be clear, there are times wherein I would ask you to produce art, but I will not be judging them or I will not be grading them. I just want you to experience the process for you to appreciate art even more. Question number three, are we going to focus more on art history and art theory? Well, my friends, those two subjects are very different from what Art Up class is. But of course, we need to learn about the history of art and theories concerning art. Why? Because my friends, I think it will be very difficult for us to appreciate something that we know nothing about, right? But don't you worry, my dear friends, because we will try our best to make the discussions as comprehensive as possible. Question number four. Now, what is the language to be used in our classes? Well, my friends, since we are doing this online, I think we have to be a little bit more lenient in terms of language restrictions. And besides, Art Up class is not an English language class. So I would say that you may use the language of your heart. Not unless we have a student who does not speak Tagalog. In that case, we are obliged to speak in English. But I think that's not a problem at all, right? Question number five. Do we have a reference book for this subject? Well, my friends, we don't have any. But don't worry because our course site is jam-packed with all the information that you need. All you need to do is to use your course site properly. Everything is there. The course plan, the schedule, um, the videos, the lessons. Just use the course site properly. That's it. Question number six is about the platform to be used for our online classes. Well, my friends in USD, we're so lucky because we already have a platform in place for a very long time, and that is the USD Blackboard. But since we're living in very difficult times, I decided to open other social media platforms for our classes. Number one is the Art Appreciation Facebook page. Number two is my YouTube channel where I post all the videos for our online classes. Just choose the art app playlist. Number three is my personal TikTok account. Number four, and this is very new, my art app teacher TikTok account. And last is my Instagram account. I think that's it. But if you have more questions, please email me on my USD email account, easypadilla at usd.edu.ph.